This video demonstrates AEV cooperative navigation with a GPS-enabled surface sensor via acoustic communication. In this experiment, the surface sensor was simply our research vessel fixed with a GPS and acoustic modem combination. Previous work used an autonomous surface vehicle. The AEV is located at the center of the green uncertainty ellipse. It carries out repeated paths over a specific location. The aim of this is to have several different views uh, of the location of interest in the side scan sonar data. The AV operated at a depth of 5 meters. Meanwhile, range measurements are received from a surface vehicle located at the center of the red uncertainty ellipse. The range measurement is indicated by the blue circle. Both the range and surface vehicle position are received at the underwater vehicle simultaneously. Our algorithm combines navigation from the underwater vehicle with the range and positions from the surface vehicle to improve the AEV's navigation without the AEV having to come to the surface for GPS. Note that for clarity the full resolution navigation path of the AEV is not illustrated here, only the position every 15 seconds. This corresponds to the pose graph of this problem. We utilize ISAM, incremental smoothing and mapping, for nonlinear optimization and smoothing of the entire vehicle trajectory. In this way, we can prove both our current position estimate and all the position estimates up to that time. This is particularly important for survey completeness. Having completed the first survey pattern, the AEV heads southwards to carry out a second survey pattern. However, at this location, an artificial sonar target has been placed. Eight and two weak natural targets will be detected by the AEV's side scan sonar. These observations are relative rather than the global constraints from the surface GPS. The features are added to the pose graph at the center of their yellow ellipse, while the constraints of the AEV are shown by the linking yellow lines. Having first observed the three targets, a subsequent six reobservations of the brighter target are demonstrated by each of the linking lines. This results in six loop closures and a very accurate estimate of that target's position. After this, the AEV comes to the surface at the end of the mission.